everybody Hello. and welcome back to our channel. I'm dead excited about this review. It's oh. a review on a scooter, an e-scooter. It is, oh it, I forgot. It's the GeForce <laughs> S10. Yeah, the GeForce I mean, S10. They they obviously know that how much we love our e-bikes, but how much more we love scooters. And a company yes. got in touch and said, would you like us to send you on and review it and have a look and test it out and tell us what you think? Of course we would. Of course we would, because they are amazing. Yeah. We know they're not legal in this country, but if you're going to Europe or you're on private land, they, they come into their own. They're Without amazing things. They, they really, really are. We we use ours all the time, all the time we were over in Europe. Yeah. We saw so much more than we would have been able to if we were just on foot. Yeah, they're so. a lot easier to transport than e-bikes. Nobody can argue with, me with that, because they are. And, uh, yeah, they're just fantastic things. I just wish they'd make them legal in this country. Yeah, they will do one day. One day. Well, hurry up, government. Hurry up, yeah. make them legal. I mean, this scooter isn't like the capacity that ours has got. It's a 500-watt no. motor. I'd say um, it's a starter, starter scooter. Yeah, but it's ideal. Honestly, it's ideal for any of, you out, any of you out there that want to try a scooter and see what it's like. So yeah. let's get in and have a look what's in the box. Happy with that, folks? Happy. So the box is open, people. Very well uh, packaged, very well indeed. So uh, we'll just get it out of the box now. Actually, you can get it out of the box. Uh, no, okay. there's not going to be much assembly to it, is there? Doesn't look like it. So let's get it out and have a look, eh? So that's what it's like without the packing gear on. It looks like you've just got to put the uh, handle bars onto a chuck, put the display unit on, and that's about it, I think. Nice looking thing. Now let's do what's in the box with my assistant. I always get excited when it's a box. Right, what do we... Oh, a rather nice case in there. Right, so you've got a G-Force little bag, well, zip, zip bag, and in it you've got You've got some case. iron keys and a couple of spanners. Yeah, and some screws. Some screws. Anything else in the box? Yeah, well, that's, a, that's, a, that's very, a good. That's is. a good toolkit, that is. It is. It's, it's nicely packaged. Yes, and I think that's waterproof as well. And then you've got your charger. And that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's that's your lot. But I must say, this is a very reasonably priced scooter. If it's any good, which I will find out. We need to get it on charge, though, don't we? Oh. I need to charge it up. Before I put it on charge, I'll lift the bars up. I'll get the handlebars on there, like so. Okay, and I'll bolt them up. Hang on. Yeah, so to... You lift the bar up like that, and then you just... I should have took that off really, but never mind. And then you just push that lever up there and that locks the steering into place, okay? So I'll get it on the floor, I'll get the handlebars put on, I'll get this on, get it on charge. Yeah, so what you do, that's your display screen, okay? And it's got four screws in there. So what you do is just flip it over there, put it over to the handlebars like that, line it all up, and then put those screws into the four corners, tighten them up. So I'll get that done now, folks. Okay, so the handlebars are on, tightened up. That's a good idea. You can lift that and adjust. I can't do it with one hand. So I'll need my assistant. But yeah, and uh, when you've got the handlebars on, all you do is connect these two plugs up for your power. So if I lift that up? No, you need to hold the camera. Okay, I'll hold the camera. Okay. So you lift that up there. Oh, yeah, that's good. And you can higher and lower. That's the that's the lowest set in there. Okay. Which is probably perfect for me. Yeah. It's a sturdy thing to be honest. It's a, it's a good size deck, isn't it? I mean obviously we'll go into price after and then whatever, but it is a sturdy sturdy machine. The only thing that's uh, I've noticed. Oh and down here look. To drop the bar, you have to come closer with the camera. You lift that up there to release that. 
that's another safety mechanism on it and that folds down to that okay now on most scooters well a lot of scooters here it's got a catch to catch that so you can pick it up with the bar to carry about but now obviously because it hasn't got that catch you have to carry it like that mm, that's not very good is it that's a shame no but it's not that heavy it doesn't feel that heavy at all if you know what i mean so it's going up steps and whatever a lot lighter than ours yeah but it would be better if that clip was on to be honest but apart from that all looks good at the moment folks so i've just got to get this plug now can you see what i mean because of you know why they are so great for taking in your motor out because there's nothing to them yeah. you can just fold them and put them anywhere you can put it in your wardrobe if you want to shut up profit okay to fire it up you just hold the mode button down a couple of seconds well less than that and that's your display there okay you can it's got uh, level one that's your light so you've got a symbol there for your light that's your headlight there look nice and bright now if I just turn that off that stops on a day a daytime running light that is on permanently which is a good idea uh, you've also got indicators left and right to there to the right one which is there and just press it to turn it off you've also oh hang on it's not off there you go and also it has got a brake light which is absolutely fantastic and it works off the front brake and off the left brake which in my uh, experience of scooters they should all have brake lights all of them uh, that's your throttle yeah, and you've got level level one, level two, and level three. Mine will be in level three all the time. You've also got a tripo. You can change that from kilometres to miles per hour if you want to. That's your battery level. It's already four, four uh, bars charged. It has mechanical brakes, which I'll be testing out. The deck, the G-Force deck looks pretty wide and comfortable to stand on uh, mud guards and I think it has 10 inch wheels on it but we'll go into the spec later it's got front suspension so I'll be testing that out g-force smart looking thing uh, yeah liking it at the moment people what it's going to perform like I don't know but I will soon find Okay, it. people, let's take this bike for a ride. Well, scooter, I must say. It's on, uh, it's saying it's on five bars, but the charger was still on red, so it's not completely full. So I'm going to really like put it through its paces now, try the brakes out. Mechanical brakes, as I said. Stop it pretty good. Back off road. Yeah, and I also want to say about this scooter, when you're uh, pulling away, it's not instant, if you know what I mean. It's a gradual pull away, so you feel safe and in control of it. Which is good. For, as a first scooter, you don't need to zoom in off with you, do you? And it's just started to rain. It just gets better. Yeah, really muddy across here. No, no problem at all. Brakes are good. I must say the front suspension copes really well. Like I said, our first uh, scooter was a bit of a bone shaker. But this handles it really well. I mean, I'm properly off-road now.
and slow down a bit because it is a bit slippy because they're only like uh, road tyres on this but yes you can't whack a scooter people stop out the gate Camera off of it. Okay, I'm still on. I'm still on three bars, four bars, so it's fully charged. Well, that's what it's saying. I mean, it says uh, the range for this scooter is around 30, 30 miles. Realistically, I'd say about 16, 17 miles. But uh, as you can see, this is a grav gravelly track. I'm flat out at the moment, going for it. It's doing 29 kilometers an hour. Which is what, about 18 miles an hour is it? Yes, brilliant. absolutely loving that light that light makes such a difference so you know people can see you and I'm gonna wet people what I'm gonna do now is take it across the tarmac here because little scooters like this just a basic scooter actually it looks more than a basic scooter but it is a basic scooter come into their own on tarmac as you can imagine. So here we go. Nice gradual pull off again. Uh oh, I'm only on. Hang on a sec. Where am I on? Yeah, I'm on Paris is free. Let's see if I can get out of its cross here. Picks up speed gradually, like I said, which might gives you peace of mind. 28, 29, 30 k, k km, 31. Very comfortable. Slow down a little bit across here because there's uh, people about. Yes, for the uh, for the money, and we'll go into that uh, a bit later on at the end of the review. I don't think you're going to get much better than this for the first scooter. I really don't. 500 watt motor. I just want to go and see if I can find a bit of a hill because I'm 16 and a half stone in weight. I think the maximum this can carry is uh, 17 stone. It's coping with me, no problem. Now, there's a bit of a hill here going over the canal. Let's see if he gets me up there. Yeah, obviously it slowed right down, but he did it. Brakes are rubbing a little bit, that's just because they're bedding in. Even the uh, even the handlebars are the right right width. The uh, the grips, the handle grips are comfortable. Yeah, back over this hill. Hang on, let's go up there a bit. There's nothing aggressive about this scooter. Anybody could ride this scooter. It is easy to ride. In my opinion, a proper beginner's scooter, without a doubt. 
Hang on, let's go across the bridge. There you go. You can control it easy. A bit of a hill here. Slowing down, slowing right down. But it's coping. It's getting me up there and I'm 60 and a half stone, as I said. Yes. Uh oh, there you go. Easy. Easy to manoeuvre around. Let's try getting out some steps, eh, for a laugh. Bang, 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 bang. I don't recommend you to try this, but <laughs> it's good, all good fun. Yes, for nipping about on. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Now this is a big hill, this is. Is it going to do it? It's still going. I'm still on it. It's struggling. I really didn't expect me, expect it to get me up there, but it did. Wow, that surprised me. Can you imagine, can you all imagine how much fun we're going to have when these are legal? It'll be brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, I love these things. I really do. Off-road. Let's get off here because I've got to go up steps. Unfortunately, scooters don't go up steps. Get it round here, back over the bridge. So bloke doesn't kill me with his uh, lawnmower. Didn't look very happy, did he? <laughs> Yeah, I better turn back around because I'm going on the road there. Hang on, let's go down here a bit. Just trying to uh, show you how easy it is to uh, use an e-scooter. You can have hours of fun on one of these. Hours of fun. Suspension's fantastic, to be honest. For the in the price range, it's brilliant. Yeah, so I reckon if your uh, if your weight is about around I don't know ten to twelve stone, you will absolutely fly along on this. I'm about four stone too heavy, <laughs> but you know on the flat, and you just cope with some uh, some good hills for a little scooter. It has done really well. And if you hold the throttle in the position, the speed you want to go at, it will go into cruise control, which is great on a scooter. You know, it gives your, uh, your thumb a rest when you're going on a good long journey. Mm -hmm. 
It's also got a horn somewhere. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, it's got a horn. Not a very loud horn, but it has got a horn. Yeah, it's saying uh, it's dropped down to uh, three bars now. It wasn't fully charged, not not maximum charge. I didn't have in it, but it's dropped down to three bars. But as I say, I am an heavy bloke. I'm 16 and a half stone, so I'd say you get 30 miles out of it. At a push, you might get 30 miles. Yeah, it's proper off road here. Once you get your speed up, it's fantastic. Even going off gravel onto, onto, onto uh, grass, muddy grass. Yes, happy with that folks, happy. I love the way it pulls on and just gradually builds up uh, gradually builds up power and speed yeah I mean trust me it is really slippy across here and it's coping no problem at all you do feel really safe on this scooter really safe I mean I've been on some scooters what they uh, try and sell you at uh, motor and caravan shows and all that and they are absolutely crap diff traps but this for a low price scooter is pretty good I mean the brakes work adequate well more than adequate if you ask me come on I'll give it some jip through this there you go Right through the mud slid a bit then but it was good fun would I recommend you to buy one of these or something like this for your first scooter 100% especially if you haven't been on one before and you want to gradually build up to the big scooters this will do what you need it to do you know to potter around on chuck it in your garage to go to Europe Brilliant on site if the Olsen point is four miles away. I always balance our uh, cassette on the actual board to go and take the cassette toilet to the uh, Olsen point. Yeah, all kinds of uses he's got these scooters. Fantastic. Happy with that, folks? Happy. So here we have the GeForce S10. It's certainly a great scooter ideal for taking with you over to Europe. It has a 48 volt, 124 amp hour lithium ion battery with a 500 watt brushless gear hub motor. It will do approximately 30 miles per charge. It has a hydraulic suspension with alloy forks. The tyres are 10 inch by 2.5 inch and they are tubeless. It has excellent braking power using dual disc brakes. It's made of aluminium with a great wide deck. The payload capacity for this scooter is 250 pound, which is approximately 113 kilos or 17.13 stone. It packs a punch with the 800 watt peak power, making it a breeze to conquer hills of up to 20 degrees incline. Full color LCD screen that shows everything from battery life to speed and how far you've ridden. It sports rear light tail lights and turn signals. It also has a brilliant daytime running light and ultra bright headlight. Its recommended heights are between five foot two and six foot six. So over and all, it is a fantastic little scooter, ideal for anyone. Can I have a little go on the scooter? Even Lynn loves scooters. And this is the first time she's been on it, so it'll be interesting what she says. I mean, look at the light on the front, it's brilliant. 
Good. It's good, isn't it? It's amazing for the money. I didn't expect it to be nowhere no, near no. as powerful as that. And do you feel safe and comfortable on yeah, that? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, because the deck is wide it's and really you can move about on it. It's absolute. I, I really, that wasn't what I expected. Good, eh? Yeah. Happy I'm with that, folks? Very Happy. Very Great scooter. I mean, to say it only goes up to 17.13 stone, it's pulling in really, really well. Better than I thought. Yeah, can I just say, because this field is slippy and muddy, okay? And can I just say, because the power in this is instant and aggressive, it's gradual. Just went round there, no problem. Yeah. Didn't skip. I thought that, because uh, I, I was a bit unsure when I was going round there. Yeah, but so. Really, I... I yeah, I'm going to Mega impress, you know, for a cheap scooter, which you'll get on to now. Yeah, Pretty amazing. Good. Right, let's get down to price. Well... How much is it? It should be £799, which... Dollars or pounds? Pounds. Okay. And at that price, I think it's awesome. 800 quid. when mine's... Mine costs, what, 1500 yours was 2000 So, Ooh. for £800, it's an awesome scooter, but... For a beginner scooter, yeah. Yeah. Oh, an intermediate show. Yeah, I just think yeah. it's, it's great. Depends oh. what you want it for, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I will put the link in the description below. And the price for the GeForce S10 at the moment is £499. Go out and buy one. <laughs> if, if you fancy the idea of uh, riding a scooter, for your first scooter, Absolutely. the range isn't brilliant. But like it, 30 miles. Apparently. Well, that's with me. It depends how heavy you are, yeah. yeah. Yeah, a little kid who weighs about eight stone, probably 30 miles, yeah. But uh, yeah, for your first scooter, absolutely, I'd recommend one of those because they're brilliant. I'm re I, 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 yeah, I'm really impressed. Yeah, I didn't think that it was going to have the speed that it's got. Well, for it, does, a it does, a, does around twenty miles now, which is plenty, quen yeah. plenty quick enough for us normal people. It doesn't include you, does it? I like a bit of speed. But uh, yeah, it's uh, for your first scooter, people. I would recommend you to buy. The G-Force S10. The G-Force. Perfect. Happy with that, folks? I really am. Right. So on that note, people, thank you for watching this review. Yeah. I love e-scooters. Anything and electric, I love it. And thank you, G-Force, for sending it to us to review. Yeah. Uh, so on that note, people, we will say our farewells. So stay safe for the caravan as motorhomes, tenters, drifters, skies all new. We still love you. We do. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you on the next one. In a bit. Mm -hmm.